Welcome everyone to this uh, this tutorial. So this tutorial is all about the outline properties of a graphic or a line or a um, or text. So let's start with this uh, this uh, CDR tips word here. Now these are the same same font size. And the only difference here is actually the um, the uh, the outline. So with this one, I believe this is the same thickness of outline, but it's a different look, right? So if I click on this one and go to my outline property, so you just double click here, you would see it's an eight point. And if you click on this and double click, it's also eight points. But you can see the difference, right? So the difference of this is that this one, the outline goes in, and then this one, the outline goes out, okay? So this is the difference. So when I click the properties here of the outline, and I'm going to look at this um, these options here, behind fill or scale with object, uh, behind fill should be clicked. See this one changed. That's because if I click on that one, the outline goes inside the text. So, but it really depends upon what style you want. But I think for this one, for me, I think behind fill is best. Now, I'm also going to talk to you about uh, what's the meaning of this scale with object. So scale with object means to say, Okay, let's see the difference here. So I won't check the scale of the object and then I'll click OK. And then this is eight points, right? It's eight points. And then I'm going to shrink this down. So what do you notice here? So you notice that the the outline, the outline value is still the same. That's why it looks thick, right? And that doesn't doesn't look right because it's not proportioned to the original. So I'm going to hit Control Z here to undo. And so now let's do the. I'm going to double click on this, and now let's do the behind fill and scale with object, and click OK. So now, if you notice, if I make this smaller, scale it down, the proportion of the outline will also change depending on the scale of the of the outline so if you go here in the outline so instead of eight points it became 1.95 points because now it's scaled to object scale with object so i'm gonna hit Control z here and then let's go to this outline here so again these are two different i mean to the same um, uh, the outline that's three and then this one is also three sorry I'll, let's just make this three let's make it the same three points click OK and then obviously this one it's not behind fill so I'm just gonna click on not behind fill and let's fix this first um, if you notice um, see this sharp sharp outlines there that's because of this uh, corners so if you change the corners say for example this one rounded corners so that changes right so that's a big difference because this one is the default and say for example you're applying outline to this text and you would say oh that look doesn't look right that's because of the corners so if you click on this corner rounded corners that would look much better okay so now let's look at this one here so this one um, if you notice the um, the outline here is thicker than the outline here and here too right and this is only one outline so the properties of this outline if I go to my outline tool here outline properties or outline pen properties it's that this one I made it um, angled right so if we we go to default say I'm gonna click on default that's how it looks like right but then if you go uh, click here and then make it angled like that 
that's the effect that you're going to get. Sometimes you like this effect, sometimes people don't like it, but um, it really depends upon the application that you want. Okay, and then click OK here. Now convert outlines, uh, convert to outline, right? So, or if you go here, they have, we have to put outlines first. So let's say I'm going to put red outline and then I'm just going to make it um, thicker. So I'm going to go 10 points. See the, the difference there? You have to make it rounded corner and make this behind fill and then scale with object. But that 10 is a, a bit too much. So I'm going to go for 8 or maybe 6. I'll type in 6 there and click OK. Okay. So now let's just make the text white. So now here, if you take a look at the... Sorry, I'll just make it probably green. So if you take a look at this one, and then if I go to view and then click on wireframe, the vector image or the vector lines is only the text but not the outline, right? Uh, some of you will have um, uh, vinyl cutters or, you know, for, uh, you know, for vinyl cutting. And this actually is not acceptable because um, you should make this as a vector, right? So that's really easy. So if you click on the, the text with outline and then you go to objects and there's an option here for convert outline to object. So if I click on convert outline to objects, now if you take a look at this one and then if you go to view and then wireframe now you have this as an outline i mean the outline is all vector now so i know you would see that it looks like it's it has double that's because of the uh, the outline so what you can do here is you can click on objects and then break curve apart and then you are just going to delete this this part here. If I go to view, uh, enhance view, okay, I'm gonna go back to wireframe. So you just have to delete the inside one. So for example, that one, uh, this one here, this, uh, this one. Because remember the outline um, is one object too, that's why it looks like that. So, so this one is, uh, I think we have to delete this there and then leave this here. Uh, okay, just leave that there. Okay, so now we go to view and then enhance view. So you just have to, uh, to you can view where you have to co uh, combine this. So this one and this. And also this one here and this one here and this and this one and then you just go combine that and you go to view and enhance view oops we did that wrong so anyway um, for me uh, to make it faster I just click on this one which is the text right control Z so I'm going to uh, copy that in the clipboard, control C first, and then delete it, and then combine this. And then, sorry, we still have to remove all of this one here. So I'm just going to remove this. We forgot to remove this one. Okay, we're gonna delete that, delete this, because we just did this part, and then we would just um, combine that, and then we're going to paste the Control V and enhance. Okay, we forgot this one here. This. So anyway, so that's, uh, uh, I'm just going to break this apart first. I forgot this one. 
So we click this and this one here. Sorry about that. Okay. Leave that. Combine that. Okay. Anyway, the C here is, I think I had a mistake when selecting it, but what I'll do, I'll just fix this by bringing this down. white and then this one should be removed and this one will be red okay so now let's go to uh, the lines properties of the say for example you're creating a line so so this is the arrowhead and this is also you can also put another arrowhead here so if I click on this line and then you see in the property bar here you can see that I selected this arrowhead but the since this one doesn't have an arrowhead that's why it's only a, like a line like that so if one we want to change that you just go to you can choose here say for example you want this so that's going to be that arrowhead now depending on the size so this is one point uh one point five so if i go to three points so what would happen is the um the arrowhead and this one the tail will also um, be proportionate to your line okay so you don't need to you know change the scale of the arrowheads so this one what I did here is uh, if I if you click on that this one is a dash line so you can change that to whatever uh, dash uh, whatever line you want so for example you want this one right again if you scale that up say three points it would go like this and if that's what you want if that effect if it's that that effect you want so you just scale it like that now if you click on more here so more means to say you can actually change the um the spacing it been between the um the dash line so for example i move this like this see it changes the spacing and then if you click on replace or you can click on add and that's the spacing changed so you can also um, if you have curved lines like this you can also create or you can also add arrowheads right or the tail so for example here I'm just gonna put like that so um, remember what I told you about the the sharp edge here, and then we change it, change the corner to to a rounded corners. That's also the same here in in um, in my square here. If I go to my outline tool here, so I made it um, the corners to be rounded. The default is like this, and it really depends upon if you want like a. 90 degree angle like that that would be good uh, that's up to you or if you click on the rounded corners it would round like that click OK and you can also uh, change the uh, convert outline to objects if you click on that and if you go to wireframe uh, you just have to delete this and that's your square so you can cut vinyl with this one now so now you can also create shapes right say for example circle or rectangle and then you can also apply dashed lines right? like that so this one is good for say for example you're creating coupons and then you can put like a scissor graphic here so you can do that too so now here what, what i did here is um i created a line and then if you want to make these as stylized lines, you can go to your artistic media. And then it's under calligraphy. 
um, you can choose like a brush stroke here say for example this one and it creates creates a different uh, thickness and that's actually a vector if you click on the wireframe it's vector image and you can like draw like that and that would be another properties of the line which is the artistic uh, calligraphy so um, so yeah that's that's all for for this tutorial so I hope you learned something about the outlines the outlines is really and it's different from the it's different from the con, uh, contour right but um, sometimes you need something that is editable and outline is the way to go it's because here even though I changed the outline properties of this I can still you know add some text here without destroying the the outline properties okay so um, so that's all for tonight or today uh, I will see you tomorrow bye for now